I am Mark Carino with the Chicago Sun-Times. And I'm Peter Margusak with the Chicago Reader. And we are here to preview some of the action at the Pitchfork Music Festival on Friday. I think the person I'm most looking forward to early in the day is Angel Olsen. Where is my friend? A folk rock artist from Chicago. She kind of made her name first as a member of Bonnie Prince Billy's band. Made a bunch of records with him. Really great foil for his singing. And in the last couple years, she's really come into her own. She made an EP a few years ago and put out an amazing album last year. She's really magnetic. Curious how it's going to work in the broad daylight, but that's what you got to do a pitch for. It. One of the acts I'm really looking forward to, not just on Friday, but for the whole festival, is Michael Cronin. His music will really uh, appeal to fans of kind of traditional pop rock. He's really strong on melody. For fans of just more kind of classic, strong structures and pop, melodies uh, he's the guy to see here on Friday and then for me the the two last acts on Friday are the real uh, highlights for the day if not the whole festival and I rail. this year to me the, the strongest artists are all female including Joanna Newsom who is a harpist and songwriter whose music is incredibly hard to describe. She writes these very long, winding songs, multi-part that are almost like sweets unto themselves. Again, it'll be a challenge to see how she translates that uh, to the stage here outside. Certainly the first time there's been a harp player at Pitchfork Music Festival. Big anticipation for uh, Friday will be Bjork, probably one of the biggest stars Pitchfork has had um, in its history. And from past reviews, she's had, a, I mean, I think she's showing up with a 14 uh, member choir. She's playing songs off her last record, which she accessed a lot of the music via iPad apps. And uh, I don't know if the public really caught on to that or not, but uh, they won't have to worry about that at Pitchfork Live because she'll be playing some songs from that early on, but I think it'll be sort of a greatest hits for the second half, right? I would, I would assume so, yeah. I mean, that record was, uh, to me, when on its own, as music was a little lackluster for her. Live, she's an incredibly dynamic performer, constantly upping herself, pushing it further with each new tour. And the, she's only done a, a few shows in support of this record, which came out two years ago. So this is a real special treat. And, you know, Bjork will certainly be the first pitchfork performer with a tesla coil on stage <laughs> that's it for friday uh, check in with suntimes.com or chicagoreader.com for updates throughout the day th all the way through sunday Sweet.